Ashes of Creation may have just solved one of the most annoying parts of an MMORPG post-launch. One of my biggest concerns for the game is in fact how Intrepid plans to handle server merging for this massive MMO where every server is meant to have a different setup and different story from its counterparts. The rise and fall of MMORPGs can be insane. Normally they peak weeks after launch just to have a steady decline of players from that point on, really for the rest of the game's life. Obviously, things like expansions and DLC can bring players back into the fold, but rarely do MMOs ever hit those launch week numbers again or come close to even surpassing them, which makes for a real tricky situation when it comes to server merges. With the massive amounts of players coming through the door of the game at launch, developers need to find a fine balance between opening new servers and letting players impatiently wait in a queue. These queues can span thousands of players and be hours upon hours of waiting, and as someone who just dropped some cash to play the game, well it can be a bit frustrating that your first days are unplayable. It's a no-win situation with a lot of MMORPGs because even if they open new servers, the developers know that a lot of them will eventually die out and need to be merged with another for the benefit of most players. With Ashes of Creation, this may be no different. The current plan, as you may have already known as I've done videos on this in the past, is that the lower population server, also known as the weaker server, will be merged into a higher population server within the same time zone. Players from the weaker server are all ultimately screwed over. Those players have to change their character name if there's duplicates, along with losing any owned property, including housing and freeholds that will then need to be re-established. This is not a great way of handling it, but with nodes and each server having a unique story to it and a unique setup, well, there's only so much you can do. At least there was only so much you could do, but in Intrepid's latest live stream, they introduced something pretty cool. And no, despite what certain big streamers may have told you, it's not mega servers. Those will not be a thing in Ashes of Creation and the current plan is to still have 10,000 concurrent players per server. What they did introduce though is some new server tech they are calling IntrepidNet, which has a pretty neat feature called Dynamic Gridding that Intrepid plans to have implemented by Alpha 2 start later this year. What this means is, well, say there's a siege going on in an area of your server. Normally the load of the siege is held together by one server and in time if too much is happening it could crash the server or cause major lag. With Dynamic Gridding Intrepid plans to bring servers online and offline as needed to support these specific areas of overpopulation, while having these servers still seamlessly interact with each other and still allow players to see each other in the map without phasing anyone out. Something that could really change how these large, massive battles can actually be fought by allowing more players in the same area at the same time. But Dynamic Gridding also has other potentials. We know the Ashes of Creation launch will be massive. We know that after a few weeks, it'll more than likely have a massive player drop off like just about every other MMO out there. So why not use Dynamic Gridding as a temporary solution on launch day instead of spinning up more worlds for other players that would eventually need to be shut down and merged. While I'm no expert, based off what Intrepid has told us, this could probably work pretty well. To help reduce queues, Intrepid could allow more than 10,000 players on launch day and use dynamic gridding in these starting areas or other heavily populated areas within the map instead of creating new servers to ultimately save the longevity of each server's life. It may not prevent merges altogether, but it could very likely reduce the amount of them that are needed. Doing this though may create some other issues though that would need to be thought of, and I don't think this is some something Intrepid should do instantly but gradually over time as players spread out. That way you are less likely to run into issues with NPC spawns as even more players are waiting to kill certain guys for quests. And don't get me wrong, this is not a permanent solution. The world is being designed for 10,000 concurrent players, which is still a lot for an MMO, but freeholds, player housing, resource spawns, NPC spawns, and node sizes I imagine all consider these numbers when these systems are designed. So these servers may not do well if they had more than 10,000 player cap on the life of the server for a long period of time. But after those first few weeks of excitement, when people start to realize, okay, maybe this isn't the game for me, well then Intrepid could slowly take some of those grids offline and move people back into the queue if necessary, but hopefully it would be avoidable for the most part as player number drops and the server population balances out. Now, as I said, this isn't going to completely remove server merging. Player numbers would still decline eventually if Intrepid can't keep players engaged with the game by bringing in new content and expansions in a reasonable amount of time, but it could very easily solve the temporary problems of large amounts of players flooding through the Divine Gateways. Otherwise, as I've said in the past, Intrepid's plan for server merges 
really just kind of sucks. It's not something that I think would make most people happy, especially if you own a Metropolis non-instant mansion and have to give that up because players just aren't coming to your server anymore. It also helps for potential expansion launches as expansions tend to bring a lot of players back and a lot of new players into the game. So when that time comes where the numbers will grow again for a short amount of time, grid them. Don't bring new servers online that will eventually die off and need to be merged, just have dynamic gridding take care of the temporary influxes. Dynamic gridding has so much potential for MMORPGs beyond large PvP objectives and world events. They could ultimately change the thought process behind server management and player populations without introducing mega servers, and I really hope that Intrepid leads the genre forward with this system.